Hi everyone, welcome to my Casual FX115 EX Calculator tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, make sure to share and subscribe. Feel free to comment below. Today, I'd like to share with you about solving derivatives or differential equation with respect to x using the calculator. The typical differential equation is shown here. d over dx ax with respect to x equal to b. So derivatives of ax with respect to x, in this case the a is a constant number and we want to find the x value, known x value. To get to the derivative function, first step, you go to the shift and here you see the d over dx, select that and here you see that d over dx parenthesis and in the bracket right pretty much uh, you put in the equations for example if you have a 2 and then using the alpha here and then select x then we're going to enter the known value here which is uh, if you want to respect the x for number 2 and you'll be giving a 2 number right here Let's do uh, some example right here. So let's say we wanted to uh, differentiate 2x squared and with a known x equal to 3. So just go to shift d o d x and here we're going to enter 2 and then alpha for the x and power 2 which is uh, this one. And then we know that the x is equal to 3 that will give you 12. And we can try another one with the fractions. So shift d over dx, and we're gonna use in this a fraction symbol right here. That will be three over five, three, use a cursor to move down over five, and then we know that, and then x power three. So cube will be alpha x power, and we know that x is 5 in this case that will give you 45 and another example is fraction plus a couple more equations so go to shift and derivative here we put the fraction which is a 1 over 2 x power cube alpha x power cube goes because we both to right plus x power 2 alpha again and then plus x so which is alpha x then we know that the x is given by 5 that will give you 48.5. Let's say if we wanted to put some more complicated equation, right? If we put a parenthesis, make sure that we close with a parenthesis as well, in this case. So let's say we have a parenthesis on the here to the left. And then if we forget to close it, Let's say we plus six, and then if we forget to close this right, you give a an, an syntax error. So we're going back and make sure that we this is a two parenthesis on the left, and we have to have a close parenthesis on the right too. That way, it will give you the correct formula. To compute derivative of trigonometric function, make sure the more in in radian and doing by doing that we simply go to uh, shift more and here to fall for the radian so let's say now we have uh, this uh, derivative of a sine x and if we wanted to do that go to shift derivative and then just put in the trigonometric sine 
and x in this case and then we know that the so alpha x make sure that x is equal to 30 3, 0. and here did you see any error let go to equal as you can see that we did not get any answer we got a syntax error why if we go back to the equation we see that there's a parenthesis but then when we put a sign x we have a one more parenthesis on the right so pretty much we have a two we have to close it this will give you have a two parenthesis to the left and two to the right equal so the answer for derivative of sine x with x30 is a 0.15425 to prove that if you so we know that the derivative of a sine x is a cos x so we just uh, try cos 30 they will give you the same number this is just to prove it so for the derivative of a shift x squared multiply sine 1 over x use a fraction 1 over x with x equal to 30 oh so what happened here go back to the equation and we can see that uh, we have uh, two open parentheses to the left but we only have one closing parenthesis to the right so that's the reason for the syntax error in this case that uh, we have to close it so we have a two open and two close equal and you give you to 1.000185 and the derivative of uh, this uh, equations is actually equal to 2x sine 1 over x multiply x minus cos 1 over x so we can verify the answers so 2 multiply 30 times sine fraction 1 over 30 and then minus cos fraction 1 over 30 that should give us back the right answer as we're using the derivative function right here Like to share with you about solving definite integral equation with respect to x by evaluating the upper and lower bound using the calculator. The typical definite integral equation is shown below, which is we have a boundary of upper bound 2 and then lower bound 1 equation 2x dx with a boundary 2 from 1 2 to 1. So to get to the integral function, we simply can found from this button right here as you can see that we have a upper bound and lower bound and then the equation respect to the dx here for example if we have a equation of 2x plus 1 2 x alpha x plus 1 and we just move the cursor up to go to the upper bound which is a 2 and then 1 is a lower bound and then the answer for this will be 4 how about integrate fraction of uh, 1 over 5 x go to alpha x power 2 plus fraction 2 over 3 x power q alpha x power q and then move the cursor up boundary is a 3 1 that will give you the answer of 15.01 
To compute the derivative of a trigonometric function, shift, mod, and then go to 4, which is the radian. And you see on the top, the r, which is right now, the angle is uh, in the radian. The typical formula to convert radian to degree is just simply multiply the angle in radian by 180 divided by pi. And let's do a, some example right here. If you wanted to integrate sine x, sine alpha x, make sure we have a close parenthesis and then move the cursor up with the boundary of uh, pi which is you can see the symbols right here just use the shift to get the pi over 3 and then fraction there will be a pi over 4 so right here shift pi over 4 just enter equal They'll give you a 0 0.207106. And we know that integrate of sine x is equal to minus cos x. So let's try that out. So let's say we have a negative cos fraction, which is a pi over 3 minus, minus will be plus cos fraction pi over 4 they will give you the same answer which is as you point two oh seven one and in an example let's say we have a integrate of uh, x alpha x multiply psi x and make sure we have a code parenthesis with the cursor up from pi over 3 the lower boundary is we're going to need a fraction here pi over 4 they will equal to 0.19 Zero six eight, and we know that the integrate of x sine x is given equal to sine x minus x cos x, and we can give it a try. That the number will come back to do the same. Thank you for watching. I have posted the quick tip at below description. Feel free to comment and share. Remember to check out my other tutorial as well. Have fun learning and applying.